Hey guys, and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I will be showing you how to install and use DyneMap. DyneMap is a powerful plugin that allows you to view your Minecraft server's map in real time from your web browser. In this video, I'll go through the step-by-step -step process of installing DyneMap, configuring its settings, and adding a resource pack to enhance your server's map. Let's start with the installation process. First, head over to the official DyneMap page on Bucket or Spigot and click on the File tab. Find the update that is compatible with your server version and press the download icon. Next, head to the game panel and click FTP file access. Once you log into the FTP file access, you will see a list of your files. Open the plugin folder and click upload. Drag your plugin over to the right side of the page and wait for it to reach 100%. Head back to the game panel and restart your server. The plugin should now be installed. You can check by typing PL in the console. Now let's move on to the configuring of the settings menu. Stop your server and click FTP file access. Enter the plugins folder and find the folder named DyneMap. Open it and locate the file name configuration.txt. Press edit to the right of it. Once in the configuration, locate def template suffix and set it to VLORES or LORES. Scroll down to the web server port and change it to any four digit port higher than 1024. The default port set is usually taken by someone else, so you must use a random one. Locate image format and set it to JPEG and then press save. Head back to the game panel and start your server. Once the server has started fully, go to your console and type in DyneMap full render and then the world name. Lastly, let's talk about installing a resource pack. First, you need to find a trusted website such as CurseForge and confirm that the resource pack is made for the version of Minecraft your server is running. Download the pack to a known directory on your computer. Next, stop the server and click on FTP file access. Enter the plugins folder and find the folder named DyneMap. Open it and open the texture packs folder. To the left of the page, click upload and drag in the pack you previously downloaded. Wait until it is fully uploaded and then go back one directory to the main DyneMap folder. Locate the file named shaders.txt and press edit to the right of it. You are going to want to clear the current contents of this file and add the following. From this, the only part you will be changing is texture pack. In this spot, you will put the full name of the file, including the extension. For example, example texture pack .zip. Once you get that set, save the file and head back to the game panel. Start your server and you will want to do a full render of the map by typing DyneMap full render into the console. And that's it. With DyneMap installed and configured, you can now view your Minecraft server map in real time from your web browser. I hope this tutorial was helpful for you. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.